was so annoyed with your husband for not taking you home that he thought, oh, do it myself. And driving a 2CV would be fun. I haven't done that since you owned one at university, which is where I assume you met Rafe. And driving back would have been fine. What was it? Cat run out in front of you? as much as Sally, but still enough to lose your license and uh, the shame of being done for drunk driving, that was too much. So you didn't stop. And when you got to Sally's cottage, you had a brainwave. You dragged Sally back in front of the steering wheel. You guessed, correctly as it turned out, that Sally would assume that she was the one who had driven back, but what you didn't realize was there was someone watching you. Someone who'd been waiting for Sally's return. Melissa. And Melissa watched you take the boots from the back of Sally's car and set off across the fields back to the tennis club, wearing them, carrying your own shoes. Then it worked, it worked like a dream. No one even noticed you'd been gone. The problem arose the next day when Melissa and Adam discovered that you were quite prepared to let Sally, innocent distributors, carry the can for the accident, failing to stop the drunk driving, and let her lose her job in the process. So Melissa and Adam decided to blackmail you. They knew that if word of your behavior got out, you'd certainly be ostracized socially. And they knew that was something you'd pay an awful lot of money to stop happening. So it wasn't Sally who was being black? No, 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 no. This is way off being with that. Melissa and Adam were blackmailing Georgina. No. No, Melissa wouldn't do that. Let me suffer like that just so she could make some money. She would have told me. Do you have any evidence at all? That's a good question. When I came into this room, I didn't. But now, I think I do. See, before you came in, we asked Sally to empty her handbag, and we didn't find anything incriminating. But I have a feeling we will do now. Mayor? I didn't want to. He noticed me taking the saw out of the tool shed. And when Hugo told him what had happened in the barn... <laughs> it was either him or me. But Melissa, Adam... They were blackmailing me. It wasn't Sally who was driving. It was Georgina. Oh, I saw her dragging a comatose Sally back in front of the wheel. Sure. Absolutely. And if she lets poor dear Sally take the rap, I think she might just pay handsomely for our silence. Well, no, that is interesting. They were scumbags. No, Adam may be, but not Melissa. I can't believe. My dear girl, Melissa took pleasure from other people's misery. It entertained her. Yours included. 